Go for ATL here. I'm uh, taping episode six of my uh, computer craft series. Um, I've been a little bit busy since the la I ended the last episode. I uh, had the turtle extend the stairs all the way down to uh, around level 14, which uh, just using the same stairs program from uh, from the first episodes, and uh, also, you know, went lumberjacking chop some more wood to make some more chests, use the container program to make the chests, just manually control the turtle placing them all, um, did a lot of mining, uh, which has got me a goodly amount of iron, I think there's, uh, I got some more myself, um, also a little more than a stack of coal, um, which I've got over there. Um, You'll notice these chests actually have, other than this one, which still has just a bunch of miscellaneous crap in it, uh, most of these chests are a single thing now. Iron in there, some redstone in there, some redstone dust. Uh, down at, while mining down at the lower levels, I uh, found some redstone dust, and I found some, if I can remember which chest it's in, some diamonds. Just four, but that's enough to make me another mining turtle. And I think I am going to go ahead and make a mining turtle rather than a, uh... Actually, I'm not sure what kind of turtle I'm going to make. For now, first thing for I'm going to make is actually going to be uh, some GPS servers. Um, so I'm just going to make some computers and some modems first. Um, which won't need diamonds. Uh, anyway, I've got myself some glass and crafted most of that into glass panes. So I've got everything I need now to make turtles. I baked some stone, smooth stone. Um, however, that's uh, also did some hunting. Got myself some food. Uh, got some chickens. You can see. Um, and before that, I'd found a bunch of mushrooms mining before, so I'd made some mushroom stew, which I've eaten most of now. Uh, oh, and I got some wool, so I can make myself a bed here eventually. Um, which is going to be handy. It's actually night right now, but there's guys up there. I hear them splashing away. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, but that's just the beginning of what I did. The, what I've really spent a lot of time doing is working on a new program uh, based on my experiences mining, which uh, basically using the same techniques you saw me using in episode 5, where I was you know, manually controlling the turtle to move around, place torches, and uh, looking for stuff, exploring the caves. Um, that basic method works well enough, but it's really a pain to constantly have to be manually controlling the turtle, particularly on certain things that get repetitive, like going up and down the stairs to get down to the mines in the first place. Um, so, I wanted to, to put together a way to, to deal with that more intelligently. And what I've come up with is the control program, which is running right now. You notice the control prompt. Um, see all these? This is some history. It's still printing a lot more debug information than is necessary. But what this lets me do is things like this. Go to chest 1. And that one's chest 1. These are numbered 1 through 3, then 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, my 12 chests. And I'm going to show uh, off this program by I'm going to have him collect the things he needs to make himself a computer. Um, go to chest 5, has the smooth stone. Suck. Direction is south. Uh, the number I want. I'm going to go ahead and make, um, how many computers should I make? I've got enough redstone dust for a lot more than everything else. Um, I've got plenty of this too. All I need is redstone dust, glass panes, and stone. So it takes seven for each one. So I could make up to six right now. Let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and make six. Uh, six and seven is forty-two. Suck 42 into slot 1. S is in valid direction. I have no idea.
idea why it's telling me that. This worked a few minutes ago. Well, this is as good a chance as any to show you the source for control. Uh, we've got some tables here which I use to look things up. This is to convert Turtle X's directions into yeah, the letters N E S and W. Uh, this one takes based on a single character value for direction, N S E W or U and D. It returns a function that moves in that direction uh, using turtlex.face to face it first for those four. Um, to reverse direction, the opposite of east is west, opposite of west is east. To use that to reverse paths. Uh, some, some variables. The previous point is the saved point you've most recently passed through. The current path is uh, a, a history it's used to store when you're in manual control the moves you've made so it can use that to get back to previous point or save it as the path if you save a new point um, routines isn't used yet uh, table of saved points initialized with uh, this current position is start but that's all overwritten if I load that only gets used if it's run the first time um, measures the length of a path by adding up the lengths of the lengths of each step in the path. So this isn't going to make sense and it will take me forever to explain it all in more detail, but uh, reverse path takes in a path. It uses that dir opposite table I showed you earlier to build a table, build a path that is the reverse of that path. It goes through path from the end the beginning, step negative one, and then adds the reverse path opposite field one. Uh, path is an array of arrays. Each array has two elements, uh, the direction and the distance. So distance is same, direction is the opposite of the save direction, returns it. Save state just uh, puts all the state information together into a table, serializes it, and writes it to a file called dot .control. Um, load state is the opposite of that. It loads the file, stores the values to back to those global variables. Um, add path's internal function, it uh, takes a specified path and adds it to both to two points to define a path connecting uh, two points together. Um, save point. Anyway, uh, the entire manual control pro program is has become a function in this. Uh, it's had some fixes and extensions too. I've uh, written this lovely little bit here to uh, zero th for selecting slots, one through zero select slots, uh, one through ten as before, but now exclamation uh, this would not, no, I would have to just make some effort to localize this for people, but on an American keyboard anyway uh, this gives you shift one through shift six and those are will give you slot 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Um, which is why. So I can select any of the 16 slots now. Um, find route is the... Is, this is a... Uh, it's not quite A star, it's really just a best first search. Um, my terminology is rusty, it's been so long since I did this kind of stuff formally, but uh... I think it might technically be a Dijkstra. Sure, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, it searches and ultimately returns a list uh, of steps to get from one point to another. Follow path is a function that goes through a given path and uses that direction funk character funk table I showed you earlier to, to move each way. Um, neighbors the utility method it just lists out the uh, things connected to it two direction converts a uh, is for parameter loading at the command prompt converts like directions you enter into a into a valid direction object consistent with a single character and go to function goes call does the path finding and then follows the path it returns if possible. And I've 
I've been explaining all this stuff and now I've forgotten what it is I even came in here for. Alright, the drop command is not working. Save, go to join, look. Dr no, drop, not drop, suck wasn't working. Direction slot. I copied and pasted suck from drop. I swear it was working earlier, but maybe something's weird about this case. So that's a direction and then a slot. Oh! I know what's I'm trying to give it three parameters. You can't tell it how many to suck out because the suck command doesn't support that. So nothing was actually wrong except that was a user error. Suck south to slot uh, 1. We got 48. We only want 42. Drop south 6 from slot 1. That are 42. Okay. Go to chest. Which chest is it that has redstone? Is in chest 6. Semicolon. Suck south to slot. Redstone's going to go in slot 6, which is where we'll ultimately want it. Drop south. Uh, we only want to keep 6 of these, so 21 from slot 6. And then way over there in slot in chest 10, where the glass panes are. Go to 10. Chest 10. Suck. You'll notice you can semicolon. I did this once before already. Semicolons can separate commands so you can enter a lot at once. Uh, suck south to slot. These will go to slot. What is that? 10? Yeah, this is slot 10. Um, there's 32 in there. I'm going to go ahead and do the math. Drop south 22 from slot 10. No, not 22. There's 32. And I only want to keep 6, so drop 28. Kay. And then I want to just to show this little command. Uh, at the end of a string of these, you can type return. And it will go back to where it was at the beginning of this sequence. I'm just going to run over chest 10. Pull out his items. Drop back the excess. And come back. Alright, um, we've now got everything we need in our inventory. I still haven't implemented a way to transfer two, so got to go to uh, Lua for this. Transfer two, one, two, six to slot two. Oh, I got the wrong slot selected. Select slot one. Slot number first, two, six, three, six, five, six, seven, six, ten, six, no, nine, six, and eleven, six. There. Turtle the craft. I only, I wasn't even paying attention, I must have only had four glass panes. Weren't there 32? Oh, did I drop, drop 28 instead of 26? Uh. Oh, drop north, four from four. Give those computers to me. I don't have a test for those right now. Go to chest six or ten. Suck south to slot. That slot ten actually. Drop south twenty six from slot ten. And no way to craft in here. craft again. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give, give them those back. We have our six computers. And I just realized I needed modems and I didn't save any stone for that. Yeah. This is a job for control. Control. 
go to chest three sock south slot two go to chest four sock south slot one or three rather go to furnace no over furnace drop down from slot two that's where we put the stone uh, 64 from slot two there are 64 in the first slot aren't there yeah I thought so go to under furnace and these are actually glad I caught that furnace one drop up we need to drop up eight coal that's from slot three let's go back to uh chest two now and drop the remaining coal drop south we don't know how many we have 64 we'll drop all the stack from slot three and then return Just grab. Whoops. It keeps doing that to me when I right click. Uh oh. I thought that was coal. Was that iron? It must have gone to the wrong chest there. I just loaded iron in the bottom. I dropped off the rest in the right place. I must have actually just typed that wrong. Yeah, I did. I typed chest 4 there. So I went and fetched iron. Go to chest 4. Or no, two rather. Well, suck south, suck south. Whoops, I gotta. I need to make this optional, and I also need to make it not error when I miss the parameters. Suck south to two. South to two. This incidentally, just like. Uh, when you call turtle.suck, it tries to go to the selected slot. If that's full, it just sucks to the next empty slot or next slot of the same type. This does the same behavior. So I said two again, but it went and put it in slot three because two was occupied by coal. Drop S52. Uh, no, I need eight coal. 46 from slot two. Go to under furnace one suck up to slot. We'll be taking iron back. Drop up eight two. Here we go. He replaced the iron with some coal. Uh drop right now. I might add local directions, but right now you have to specify cardinal directions. In this case, west. West 40 from 3. Put my iron back in the chest where it came from. Um, and yeah, that gives you a good idea of what uh, the control program can do now to show you how I set up all these positions in the first place. Um, I did it using two things. One, you can run manual control. And it works just like normally. Give it any amount of arrow key instructions. And you'll notice that, that what it's logging or your add step, that's uh, what it's adding to the path. This is currently still sort of a debug display. Um, quit. And now I could save this position center room. Um, center cave, whatever, doesn't really matter what I call it. And it saves this location to its table of places. I can type look to inspect it. Now, right now it knows I'm at cave center. That's the point I'm at that I just saved. It only ha From here it only has a path to one place under furnace one. And the reason is because that's where I came here from. I was there and I manually controlled it out to here and so it remembers how to get to 
or it's one from here by reversing the route I gave it. Uh, the manual control path. And, and I can now go back to go back to center cave and he'll again head back out there. Now that Obviously, this system would only allow me to make like branching structures it, you know, from one. Yeah, that would ultimately always be only one path between, uh, like one path that's up from here, and I could move from here and make more points. But then it would always have to go backwards to go anywhere else. Like right now, from here to go to anywhere it knows how to go to any of these chests, it'll first have to go there. And I can demonstrate that. Uh, go to chest one. He'll go over there and he'll go under the furnace first and then come back out and go over to chest one. And actually, yeah, under furnace apparently only has a connection out to furnace. Um, so I can fix those by using the join command. First, chest one's apparently not joined directly to under furnace, so join to under furnace one. Oops. Ooh, go to under furnace one. I've added some commands. This guy must check. All right. He thinks that's at these coordinates. It's actually by his current turtle like positioning at these coordinates. Update. Check and update. I've added just to fix errors that are hopefully later won't come up. But for now, they, whenever I move without turtle X, which I did earlier using a uh, the stairs program that. Uh, from episode one, they used that program, but it doesn't use Turtle X, and so he forgot what his position was, um, and so we ended up saving wrong positions for uh, places. Go to furnace. Let's check some other positions. Make sure everybody's right. Check. Yep. Go to chest one. Check. Yep. Okay. So now join under furnace one and he uses turtle x's go-to command to try to go directly to those coordinates he succeeded and so the path that he followed has now been saved as a route between those so now he doesn't go up in front of the furnace anymore and i can also say join center cave and he will try to go directly to the center of the cave and save that route now we got there it worked they look, and he knows how to get there. Now, in this big empty room, all of these would be pretty trivial. All these paths are pretty trivial. So, uh, to show you what this is really about, let me do a... Uh, is that going to work? I should be able to just join directly to uh, top, or stairs top, which is a save point at the top of the stairs over here. And that did work. He went right there. And now go to stairs bottom. Actually, stairs lava. There's a another issue in my save data. I have to fix a different way. And I manually controlled him down this once from in control and then save the point at the bottom, and he's now able to go up and down these stairs all by himself. And this is where uh, this functionality really shines. Manual control, get him out of my way. So I can get over here. And exit manual control. Now, suppose I, I want him to... Uh, well, I could use this if I, if I had anything for him to refine. I could send him to, to put things away. Actually, I'm going to give him my iron in slot 2. I'm going to have him go put the iron away. Iron's in chest 4. Um, I should have named these like I chest iron and chest whatever so they're easier to remember, but uh, I actually have more features planned later that will uh, make automating a warehouse. Um, so for now it's chest four. Go to chest four, drop south twenty-eight two twenty-eight from slot two, yeah, that'll drop his iron into chest into the chest there. 
then go to furnace and sock south to slot two and return. This is going to take a while because you saw how long you know, he doesn't go up and down the stairs very quickly. Um, while he's off, I'll show you that this is the new stairs he dug down to diamond layers. Had to go further than I thought. I expected this to hit that canyon, but the canyon must not go quite this deep. Um, or I must have gone the different direction. This hole was uncovered. Actually, this was uncovered by a, a, a mining out. Used the uh, mine D to mine out a vein of coal from in this wall, and it exposed this in the process. And right over there, there's a little hole where there were some diamonds that I could see on the ground from here. So I went down there and mined those. And there was a little bit of redstone too, but it was literally one block of redstone ore. Never seen that before. And then over here, he uncovered this. And there was that little hole where the lava's flowing was a, a bigger deposit of redstone ore. Anyway, uh, he should be back by now. Let's go find out. you're wondering why I haven't put actual steps here. He's back. The iron is gone. The stone is in its place. Only 44, so it must still be cooking. Um, but you know, the iron's gone. And uh, go to start. So he'll be following behind me. I'm gonna run upstairs. There the slimes again. See the put the iron in here. And yeah, especially once I have multiple turtles, this is gonna be a very, very handy feature to have. And he went back to his little hole. This is this. Um, actually, I've got what are four. That's enough to make five modems. Um, I had an idea. Container. Does container check that other slots are empty? No, I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure the container program just takes what's in slot one spreads it out to all slots using transfer two and then crafts. So if I go ahead and put a redstone torch in here, container should actually make modems for me. Um, I need somewhere to stick the computer. I'm gonna have give computers to me. Um, drop east four or six from one. Okay, that was, it's west, not east. Um, but it didn't matter, it worked. Uh, to make some torches, you're going to need to put the stone away. Go to chest five is where I have torches. Drop 40, uh, south 44 from slot two. drop that. Um, that sticks down there. Go to chest seven. Sock south to one or to five. And then redstone. Go to go to chest four. Actually, no, not chest four, chest six. And from here, suck south to slot one. Okay. Until I add a craft command, this is just what I gotta do. Craft. And I'll go ahead and craft. 
six of these. So I'm eventually going to want six. Actually, okay, yeah, that works. Uh, exit. Drop south 15 from one. Go to chest seven. Drop south 25 from five. Oops, I should have done this first. Mm, actually, I have an idea on how to do this. Uh, go to chest five, or five, yeah. Drop south six from one. No, nope, from two. Okay, so we dropped those guys in. This is the wrong chest, but... Suck south. One. Suck south. Two. Six. Put the torches in the center position. Go to furnace. Wow, do I not have a direct path from those two? Join chest four. Oh. No, chest five. Success. Go to furnace again. Um, suck south to slot one. Yep. Oh, wow, we have more than 64, actually. Uh, we're only going to need 48. Go to chest five. Drop. South, I need 48, which means I need to, to drop 16 of these from here. From slot 1, I need 48. Drop the same from slot 2, just drop them all. Okay, and now I should be able to run container. 6, and make 6 modems. Let's see. Oh, that reminds me, I, uh, in the last video I was wondering why it was made to of something when I didn't give it any parameters and it was supposed to default to 1. That was because I had hard-coded in a 2 instead of count when I was modifying it. I fixed that, obviously, so I could make 6 modems. Drop north. Whoops. Drop north 6, 1. Give me the modems. And there we go. Um, I just realized I'm going to need a disk drive, too. Because otherwise I'll have no way to program these computers. Um, I'll get to that kind of fun stuff uh, a little later. Actually, yeah, what am I talking about? I can program the computers. I'm not. I'm allowed to interact with computers and turtles. Um, I'm going to need a disk drive for him to be able to share his data because this turtle does not have RedNet, and if I want the other turtles to be able to use his. Uh, his map data from control, then I will need a disk drive for that. Um, I'm going to let this be the end of this episode. Um, I'm not going to be linking control. Uh, I'll paste them and share it eventually, but right now it's still got too many uh, issues. Not re it's not really ready for general use yet. So hopefully I'll get those hammered out quickly enough and uh, you know quite happily be sharing it with uh, the community as a whole um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again sometime probably after Thanksgiving